welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing okay. So for today's video, I have an amazing small business Christmas decor finds to share with you. I am so excited. Some of these I actually ordered quite a while ago, but I wanted to wait until I'd done quite a few orders. I've kindly been sent some um, pieces from some beautiful businesses and I wanted to just dedicate one video to some amazing, beautiful Christmas decor. So I hope you are all ready for it because I am so excited. And then I will, of course, style some of the pieces because Christmas decoration is underway in this house, guys. I couldn't wait any longer. You know I've been desperate to do it for weeks, so I've gone for it. Let's get into it. To start, I will show you an order that I placed a few weeks ago. Um, there's all sorts in there. I honestly, at this point, cannot even remember exactly what I ordered, but I know all the stuff was beautiful. Here it is. So this first order that I'm gonna unbox is from Dot and Blush, a lovely small business. Um, and there is a discount code of autumn5 for 5% 5 off. So as you can see, I haven't even unwrapped anything because I wanted this to be like a surprise for us both, if that makes sense, so that we feel like we're doing it together. Um, so I've kept literally everything in the bubble wrap. So I'm really, really excited to go through it all with you. So let me unwrap this first one. Ah, so these are these little hanging glass baubles. If I remember rightly, I ordered maybe four of these. So what I'm gonna do with these, if you've been here for a while, you will remember that back in summer, I was in HomeSense and I found some gorgeous artificial like twig branches kind of things. Um, and I've been saving them to hang above my Christmas table. So what I'm thinking is once I've got those floating above my dining table, I am then going to attach these little glass hanging baubles and I'm just going to pop tea lights in them. I'll probably get artificial tea lights so that you just flick them on with like a remote um, and obviously it's a lot safer just in case they fall um, and then I was going to hang like these and some baubles off them so that's why I got those and I'm dead excited to create that I will definitely put that in a vlog because I think you'll love it so I've got a few of those I hope I'm sure we'll come across some more as we go through this big box this might be some more so let's have a look I feel like it might be it's pretty light and yeah, that's another of those. So that's two so far. I think that's the same. So we'll leave that. Maybe that as well. They're all kind of similar and really, really light. So we'll assume that there's four there. I will check my email confirmation afterwards. And let's unwrap something that looks slightly different. So, ooh, what is this? Oh, cute. They pop like a little tea light. I think it's just like a little freebie with your order. And um, you can see it there, dot and blush. And the flavour is amber and sweet orange. And oh my goodness, it smells incredible. It's actually quite like um, the White Company winter scent. So I've got so many little Christmas decorations that use tea lights. So I will pop that in. That's a cute little touch. This is why ordering from small businesses is always the best because it's just little touches like that that you just don't get with your like really big companies do you so that is so sweet so the next thing let's have a look at what is in here i know you might think i'm lying when i say i can't remember what i ordered but like i honestly promise you like, i can't remember all of these things that i ordered so i know you might think that's ridiculous but at the time when i ordered them i did think oh they are pieces that like i need well probably don't need things that i don't already have I wasn't just like ordering them just for the sake of it. So let's see. Oh, I love these. I remember why I ordered these now. You know, I think in like the past, I don't know, three videos I've put on YouTube, I've always included some white company dew um, tree decorations and this video is no different. So I have four of these gorgeous little sequin stars. 
Look at those, absolutely gorgeous. I love those. I've bought so many new baubles this year to go on the tree that's gonna go in my kitchen. And I've kept saying it the whole time. I want like a kind of white company vibe um, tree in there. And I'm so excited. I think we're gonna go and buy that tree next weekend actually. And I will of course vlog that because how cute is that gonna be? Like a little going to pick the Christmas tree vlog. I can just picture it already. So I absolutely adore those and I cannot wait to get those on a tree. They are beautiful. I will, of course, as always, link everything that I can down in the description box so that you guys can go and shop it as well. This feels something else that's star shaped. You know I'm loving stars this year. <gasps> This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that hanging star. So it's got like the little um, foliage all around the star and then like the little white berries. You could hang that like, you know, on the back of a door, on like a peg shelf or a ladder or something. So versatile. You could do so many things with that. And I absolutely love it. I remember all of this being quite good value as well. Like I got quite a lot for my money, I think. I'm sure my whole order came to like £80 or something. And I have got quite a good amount in this box. As you can see, it was a very big box. So, so happy with that. Gorgeous little neutral colours. By the way, I've never actually ordered from Dot and Blush before, so I was dead excited to place an order. I always love finding like new businesses um, and so far they are not disappointing. So let's see what's in this one. This is one of my most exciting hauls yet, I would say, because it's all a surprise to me too. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh. When I placed this order, I was killing it, guys. Because look what's now here. Two big stars. The tree that's going in the kitchen. Oh, it's in for a treat. I adore those. Gorgeous. They're so big. So let me show you. That's the big one. And this is the small one. So you can see like the size difference. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. And they're just so white company, but a fraction of the price. So, so, so happy with those. I love them. And then, ooh, this is like, sounds like barrels of some sort. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that little white wreath. It's showing up quite a lot more like blue on the camera because of the ring light. But it's just a gorgeous white kind of pearlescent um little wreath with the bow i love that again you could do so many different things with that you could pop it on your tree which i might have it on my tree um or you could just hang it you know off like um a wreath or a garland or something but i'm loving it i'm loving like the white the white tones this year beautiful love that oh and then in the same kind of color the white Got these bells. Are these little decorations? Ah, they are. They're little decorations. There's, you can see the little like threads in here. So I just need to thread those onto the little baubles. And then how cute will they be hanging off the tree? Honestly, they're showing up so shiny in this light. Um, but without the ring light, like they just look white with like a shine. Obviously they have got like a purpley tint, but not quite to that extent. You know, I wouldn't buy anything that was like super garish. So, so that comes as a set of six and I will just pop those little threads on there. I might even maybe get some little really thin um, like velvet ribbon to add to those instead just to give it a little bit more of like a white comfy feel oh this is exciting you know i love some stems especially christmas stems oh my goodness beautiful let's get these out of the packaging this is so exciting here they are how pretty are they so there is three stems let me like spread one of them out so you can see properly gosh i am going to be covered in glitter after this they are adorable i just love when like you know like this is all my favorite colors like neutral white brown beiges and then with a little bit of glitter to just make that kind of magical christmasy feel i just adore them 
They will look stunning in a vase. Oh, I'm excited to style those. Aren't they pretty? I love them. Absolutely love those. Really happy with them. I'm sure you guys will be loving those as well. And oh my gosh, I have remembered this piece. And this is the piece that made me place the whole order in the first place. These are adorable. I can't wait to show you. Oh my goodness. I've wanted something like this for a while and I finally did it and I remember them being really, really good value. So, sorry, there's so much wrapping. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. You will love these. A little set of skis. Oh my goodness. Wooden skis. I am obsessed with those. So it's got like a little um, tie here that so that you can hang them off something. But what I was picturing was them kind of like resting up against my Christmas tree or something. Or imagine them like resting against your stairs. You could just put them in so many different places, like against your fireplace, like so many options with those. And they're just a gorgeous light wood with like the cute little foliage in the middle. They are so sweet. Off the top of my head, I'm sure I remember them being like, 18 20 pounds something like that um and i love them i always love um like when people put a wooden sleigh underneath a christmas tree so that's kind of what gave me the inspo to have them by my tree um so i will definitely try that when my tree is up and show you what i think but how sweet are they little skis i love it actually also is my reminder that i need to go for more skiing lessons i was learning to ski earlier this year and then i haven't been for ages so i really need to do that because i do want to go on a ski holiday like I feel like a ski holiday is me all over you know just like pretty snow like those oh I just I would love it so that is on my list for the new year to get back into skiing so let's grab the next box now this one has kindly been sent to me by a gorgeous business called scarla bell home i have worked with them before i think me and chess did our first ever bestie home haul actually with marie from scarla bell home um and so it's just one of my favorite small businesses marie is lovely i always chat with her on instagram and She's just killing it with her business. I think she works, I think she's a nurse actually. So she like works really, really hard full time. She also manages to run a business, be a mum, like how she does it, I have no idea. But she also always nails it with everything that she chooses for her business. It is beautiful. So, so excited to be working with Scarlet Bell Home again. And I do have a discount code of Blossoms10, which will get you 10% off um, Scarlet Bell's website. So let's dig into this exciting box of goodies and see what we've got so there's one on top so let's go through this let's open this one first i love small business decor as much as i love like home sense and all those kind of places i actually i love a small business they are my favorite places to like shop and my favorite people to work with i just think when I see that it like really makes the difference and you see like that you're having such a positive impact, I just love it. Very well wrapped as always. These small businesses are always so careful, which is just so nice. <gasps> this is so cute. Look at the little ceramic angel. So it's like ceramic on top and then it's got this like beige kind of concrete effect at the bottom. It's giving me Neptune angel vibes. If you've seen them, you will know what I mean. I actually don't have any angel ceramic decorations, believe it or not. So that is a very welcome addition to my Christmas collection. I adore that. That is beautiful. I've got loads of these peanuts, honestly. Like my house, guys is just full at all times of boxes, these peanuts, packaging, bubble wrap. Honestly, poor Matt goes to the tip so many times and we just never seem to be clear of cardboard boxes. Like, it's very bad. I think it's my sign to stop shopping, but we know that's not gonna happen. So this is gonna be so cute to style. Here we go. Oh, 
this is adorable. It's like a little plaque and it says sweater weather. So it's like a little picture. It's quite small. But imagine that sat on like your shelf or like a little console table styled with some of your other decorations. That is adorable. I know she has loads of these on her website that say like different things. Um, so they are so, so sweet. So many different ways you could style those. So I love that. I think I'm going to have to put some of these on my floor. I'm going to hate myself afterwards for that, but I've got to be done. We've got to get to the goods, haven't we? Ooh, I think, oh gosh, I nearly just tipped the whole thing off the chair. Gosh, I'm making such a mess as always. You will know by now that I'm super clumsy and I am also a very messy person, actually, believe it or not. I know I'm all about like home decor and home inspo, but do not be fooled. I am very messy. So yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? <gasps> this looks so cute. Oh my goodness. I love this. So it is, I'm going to have to sit this, I think. <gasps> that is adorable. Look at that ceramic tree. It's beautiful. Look at the colour of it. Oh, the detail on that's gorgeous. I think that looks really expensive. I think because it's got all like the different tones. I love that. That is so, so sweet. Oh my gosh. I've got to have so many beautiful pieces to style on like my living room shelves this year. I cannot wait to style everything. That is beautiful. Let's dump more of this stuff on the floor. Ooh, I got a little box here. Let's have a little look. Have to slice that as well. Always got my scissors on hand to get me into these packages. Oh, what is this? Ah, I remember seeing this. This looks adorable. Oh my gosh, how cute. So this is a little match jar holder. And I think literally it might have been like in my last, I think it maybe was like two videos ago. I said that I am 26 years old and I cannot use a lighter. And the last time I tried to use a lighter, quite recently, I burnt all of my nails and they went black. So <laughs> me and lighters do not go together. So how perfect is this for me? a little match holder and then you get the matches. Let's pop them in because they look so sweet. I wonder if they'll all fit in in one go. Let's see. Sorry, I'm making a mess of this. Just drop them all over me. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. I've got some more, I think, in the packet. We'll get the last ones out. Oh my goodness. That is even cuter than I thought it would be. Look at the little like etched stars on it. It's so cute for Christmas. And there's your little matches in it. How perfect is that? And at Christmas, like I'm always lighting candles. So you can just keep that out on the side. It looks super cute, but it's also super, super handy. Oh, I love it. Oh, and it's got the little um, strip on the bottom so that you can just light your match dead easy. Really, really cute. And then what is in this one? I told you, Scarlet Bell Home has so many gorgeous things. Like, I just always have everything from her website. Her house must be full of so much nice stuff. I always think that with everyone that owns small businesses. Like, I would just, everything that I ordered for my website, I'd be keeping one for me, I think. I'd just be like overrun with home decor. Ah, little glass. Oh, how adorable is this? So it's a glass hurricane jar that matches the little match stick holder one. So you can see it's got the same etched stars. So you could have a candle in that one and then your little matching um, match jar next to it. I cannot wait to style that. That is going to be so, so cute. I'm picturing like a nice cream, um, like the calico colour candle from Neptune in there. Little matchstick holder next to it. 
that is just something you could get out time and time again as well. And no matter what your kind of decor theme is, what your taste is, that just matches everything, doesn't it? You cannot go wrong with a hurricane jar. I just think they're so cute. Love that little combo. I'll pop that in there. And then... Okay, and then I've got two more things left in this box. I think I know what this is. It's a little mini angel. Let me get the big one. So that is the big one. And then the little small one with it. Off the top of my head, I'm sure the small angel is literally like three pounds or something. It was an absolute bargain. And I'm sure the big one was only about five pounds. So how cute is that together? Cannot wait to style those on my shelves. Gorgeous, I love those two. And then the last thing, you can tell what that is. Sounds like some more bells. You know, I'm obsessed with bells, aren't I, this year? I literally, every video that I share, I think there's some form of bells in there. <gasps> I love these. And they are the same, like, pearlescent white um, bells that I just showed you from Dot and Blush. But these ones are on, like, a little garland so so sweet again they're just you could pop little pieces like that anywhere you know just hanging off like a little like doorknob or um a little door handle so cute i love them and of course they sound all cute and jingly so that was everything that scarla bell kindly sent to me i am so so grateful everything is so beautiful um and of course as i said earlier it will be linked down in the description box okay so the next box is from another beautiful small business that have kindly sent me some items and it is over so Kel, who you will have seen me um, work with in, I think it was like September time. She very kindly sent me some of her beautiful autumn collection and she's now sent me some of her Christmas stuff, which I cannot wait to share with you because I know last time I shared things from her business, loads of you loved it. So this is her little business. It's so, so beautiful. Everything is just so like aesthetic. So first up i'm gonna show you these because i can see them and they look beautiful what have i just said about me loving bells this year and then here i am again with more bells i am literally addicted at this point aren't i so let me get these out oh my gosh so so cute look at how long they drape so you get four of them and they're all on like really different length um, ropes. And oh my goodness, I am obsessed with those. So pretty. There's so many different places you could use those. I cannot wait to style them. I think these are around 20 pounds, which I think for four bells on a big rope is amazing. I love those. And you'll just get those out time and time again each year. Like, Things like that are just never going to go out of fashion, are they? So I love those so much. And then, okay, next. Get rid of that tissue paper. Gosh, I'm going to have to have such a big trip to the bins slash probably the tip because I think the bins full after this. Look at these Christmas trees how beautiful are they they're so tall so this is obviously a big one and a small one and they are so gorgeous i know i've mentioned before i have like woody tones on the christmas tree in my front room so with these styled kind of next to it on the shelves that will look perfect oh they're beautiful i'm so happy with those then the final thing in the box we always love something this shape there's a little sneak peek looks very christmasy look at these stems oh my gosh they look so nice and realistic they're showing up quite a lot kind of lighter green um on the camera than they are in real life i love those and there's three stems 
So I'm assuming it comes as a set of three. They look so realistic. So imagine these like styled in a vase and oh my goodness, I could hang, let me find them. You know those little bells that I got? I could hang them off here in a cute white vase or like a jug or something. That would look gorgeous. I love those. They are so full. Like, I think they look really nice and realistic. It looks like I've just been and like picked them from a Christmas tree farm or something. So as always, all the pieces will be linked down in the description box and you can use my code BLOSSOM15 for 15% off the entire Osokel website. So do go have a little look and see if there's anything that catches your eye. Finally, this is an order that I placed myself. Um, from a small business called With Love Abigail. And again, you will have seen me work with her um, when me and Chess do our Bessie home hauls. And I love her pieces. She just has the most beautiful things. So the first piece I'm gonna show you is what made me place this order. So let me grab it out. It is this beautiful, I think you actually call it a swag. So it's like a foliage, it's foliage on some branches and swags normally drop down this kind of way. But I loved that this one went lengthways. So what I'm planning to do is hang this above a mirror or maybe something like those bells, like dangling down in the middle. How cute would that look? I love it. So, so cute. So I'm gonna hopefully pop this in my downstairs bathroom. So I'll pop it up. I need to figure out how I'm gonna stick it up. I'm not too sure. I think I might need to get like a clear command hook or something. Um, and then I will show you what that looks like. I am in love with that. I think that's beautiful. And then in this one, this is something that I got because I got the black version of it in Bessie Home Hall and I loved it. So I thought I would order the white version as well. Here we go, this cute little star with the little, oh, these little bells are so in this year, aren't they? It's got a little deer in it. I actually could hang that off it as well. Depends how much it would block the mirror, but imagine that. <gasps> how gorgeous is that? It looks perfect together. So I'm going to experiment with that, but I will definitely be popping that up in my bathroom. Hopefully it is the right size. Um, and then I can't wait to just put some pretty cute. And then I can't wait to put some pretty little accessories just dangling off it. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then the final thing of this haul, I feel like I've gone on and on and on. Let's unwrap it. Here is some cute little ceramic decorations, which I just really, really liked. I really like the detail on these. So let me take it out. So it's this little Christmas tree. I just love like the ruffled detail and I don't know if it's showing up. You can see it's got like a little texture on all of the layers and the cute little gold star. And then there's a little mini one that comes with it as well. So let me grab this one out and then you can see them together. There you go. They're adorable, aren't they? I think they look really, really sweet. I love those. So many different places you can style them. I just love like the crisp white of them. So I think they're gorgeous. Cannot wait to style everything. I mean, as if I wasn't excited enough already to go and decorate, and then I've just unboxed all of this stuff. I am in love. So I am going to go and pick out some of the pieces and get styling those. Obviously, with a lot of like the tree decorations, I can't do those yet. Um, but the tree will be coming very, very soon. And that vlog will be with you. As soon as I'm all sorted, and I've done that decorating, I can't wait to share that one with you. Um, so let's go and do a little bit of styling. Guys, this is the aftermath of a haul. Like, look at the actual state of this. I've just come in to do some styling and thought, how on earth am I styling this? <laughs> this needs tidying. So bear with me. I'm going to have a little clean up and then we'll get on to some styling. Look at Martha thinking, oh my goodness, why is the living room destroyed? She's like, I'm just going to sit here on my pillow and not move because this place is a disaster. My poor little girl. 
She's tired, look at her. She looks like she's gonna drop off any minute, doesn't she? Are you getting all cozy? Should we put you under the blanket as well? She loves a blanket. There we go. Look at that, you look cozy. <laughs> So I thought we could do a little bit of styling of this corner here in my living room. It's got all like my newish um, Neptune pieces in, which I obviously love, but it is not looking Christmassy at all. So I thought this was a perfect place to start. So I'm going to grab some bits and let's Christmasify this corner. So I'm going to grab these stems and pop them in this vase instead. So I like having this vase in here. I think it works really well but we definitely need some Christmas stems in here, don't we? So we'll take the Neptune ones out. And then let's try these ones in here. I think the colours should match so well in this room because these are obviously like really neutral, kind of beigey colour and white, which matches the decor in my living room perfectly so we'll give them a little bit of a bend so that they spread nicely and then the third one there we go oh three looks perfect that's definitely the right amount i love that let me show you up close here they are, aren't they sweet? And they match so perfectly. I love that. So that's a cute little start. Okay, and then I need some cute little ornaments to replace my little Paloma birds from Neptune. So I'm gonna grab these, pop these over here. And then I could use, which shall we go for? We could use the little wooden Christmas trees. They might be quite nice, like they're, um, brown tones should match these nicely. Pop those on here. I'll still keep a little candle because candles are just year round, aren't they? Oh, that's lovely. I love that. It's quite simple, but you know, it works. We don't need to overcomplicate things always, do we? So I think this all works really, really nicely together. I don't really want to add anything else to it and just like clutter it. So I've still just got my basket down there with a the cushion in. And then I really, really like those little trees there. I think they look lovely. So I'll just show you everything up close. I think that's really pretty. So let's go and pop some other things elsewhere. So I haven't got this little space in my kitchen. That's styled at the minute. So I thought that is the next perfect place to pop some of my new Christmas items. So I'm gonna take out this vase with my autumn stems because it is time to say goodbye to autumn. So I'm just gonna pop these, pop these on the dining table for now. And then I thought what I might do is grab this vase, which is one of my favorites and it's from a small business called Cowshed Interiors. And I might use this on here because I really, really want to style the green Christmas tree stems that I got from Oh So Kel. They are quite short, so I need quite a short bars, which is why I thought I would go for this one. So let's try and pop these in here and see what it looks like. If they're a little bit short, I might just pop something in the base just to like raise them up a little bit. We'll give it a go first. them all out, give that one a little bend so that they're at like a different height. I think they look quite cute in there actually, just looks really cute and Christmassy. Let me stand back and see. And they might need a little bit of height actually. Might just pop something in the bottom just to raise them up a bit, let me go and find something. So I've just grabbed some bubble wrap from the many boxes in my living room that we need to get rid of. So I thought if I pop some of this in, just gives it like a little bit of a base to just make them a little bit taller. I'll just bend them a tiny bit. I feel like if you bend the bottom, it makes them fall a little bit nicer. So let's go with that. If this doesn't work, I might just need like a, a thin neck vase. It might be the, like the width of the vase, which is my problem. I think we're looking better there. It's kind of holding them in place a little bit more as well. So that's 
always good. And then let's pop this one in the front. Give it a little faff. Yes, so much better. I love that. It's like I've got a little Christmas tree here on the side. I love it. So I've then just grabbed a few of the little pieces that I got from Scarla Bell Home and I thought we could pop these here on the side. So I thought this might look cute just resting against the mirror, you know, to like contrast against the, um, the white mirror. And that looks like it works quite well, so I'm happy with that. And then I've got my two cute little angels, which I thought I could just pop there. Because it's always nice to have things styled in threes, isn't it? So I thought that might work. However, I think I need something tall there. So let's have those kind of staggered there and then we'll find something to go here on the end. Maybe something like a candle or a candlestick for like a little bit of height. I obviously don't want another plant or a vase, ideally, because I've got one here. So let me go and have a little look and see what I can find. Okay, when in doubt, grab a hurricane vase. I'm going to pop this on the edge. I think that should work quite well with like the colours and it just gives it a little bit of height like I mentioned. Yes, that is perfect. That is just what I was looking for. And then when I was in there grabbing some more accessories, I thought how cute would one of the stars look hanging on this mirror. So I'm gonna just, this mirror's just leaning against the wall. So I'm literally just gonna tuck that in there. And oh my goodness, I love it. That is so perfect. And so I've just got this little bag of jingle bells and we will put, Put a thread on one of them and see what it looks like. Let's give it a little go. Where should we pop it? Let's pop one on there. Just tuck it over there. Oh my goodness, yes, I love it. We need to add some more onto there. Let's thread some more. Here we go. So I've added some cute little white bells to those stems and I love it. I'm so happy with this cute little area. It's just giving it some cute Christmas touches. So that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed that huge haul of pieces from some of my absolute favorite small businesses. As a reminder, I will pop my discount codes on the screen for each of the businesses and I will try and link as many products as I can down in the description box so that you can go and shop them really nice and easily. So thank you so much for watching as always. And um, please do leave a little like and a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. If you are a huge Christmas fan like me, you'll be glad to know there is loads more Christmas content planned. So please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any of my next videos going live. And I cannot wait to catch up with you all soon and share lots more pretty Christmas festive things with you all. Bye!